snoring is a common problem that we can find in the elderly. Some people believe that means a good sleep. However, heavy snoring can indicate a sleep apnea problem which can lead to health complications. The obstructive sleep apnea or OSA happens when people's airway is blocked and usually occurs more in the elderly. There is already a gold standard of OSA detection method, the polysomograph, but this method is relatively expensive and requires a whole lot spent on a sleep center. So, our team designed a more affordable device that can help diagnose the OSA using pressure, acoustic, and pulse oximetry. The device is implanted into a travel pillow so people can bring it home and have a more comfortable feel during a test. To make polysomograph or OSA detection method be more accessible, we tried to expand previous research from Pencil et al. at 2017 using pressure, acoustic, and oxygen saturation sensors. After several tests, this device proved to detect the difference between snoring and non-snoring sleep. The result leads to a recommendation of further treatment to the expert. For this device, we use several components to create the prototype, such as there are several modules like the acoustic module sensor and then the ESP Wi-Fi module, the pressure sensor, and heart rate and SpO2 sensors. All of this was integrated in almost breadboard, but inside the pillow, we tried to make it in a separate parts, so it can be more comfortable if the patient is using the pillow. After we tried to make the prototype, we tried to implement it into an integrated design which can be seen on this video. So we tried to make a travel pillow with some... With, there is one button in there, the power button. So when the device is turned on, the green LED will be turned on and if it is turned off, the red one will be turned on. And also it has several sensors that are sticking to your neck. The first one is there is an acoustic sensor that will detect the voice of your tracheal sounds. And then the second one, there is another sensor that will stick to your neck. It is on the next one. It is, a pre it is the SpO2 sensor which will measure your oxygen level and heart rate to detect the sleep apnea as well in your neck and there is another one it is a pressure sensor which will detect the pressure on your suprasternal notch it has a tube on there to measure the pressure on the chamber that will stick on your suprasternal notch in which it is on the front of your neck and there is also one button in there to make sure that the pillow is closely attached to your neck and make the measurement be more accurate. So the way we use it is first we can use just put it like a travel pillow and we stick the button and press the on button and put the chamber on the suprasternal notch that is in front of your neck. So this one is still a prototype so we are still trying to find another comfortable way to make the chamber so people can sleep with that thing on their neck. And then you just let it still for the whole night and the device will detect if there are any sleep apnea incidents during your sleep or not. And then this is the measurement of our sensors. The first one is the pressure sensor when there is a normal breath. It shows like a normal wave. And then when we try to hold the breath, you can see that there is some threshold in several places so there's a difference between someone who are breathing and not breathing and then we have the pressure sensors when there is a snoring incident it is more frequent wave which indicates there is a snoring when someone is sleeping and next we can see there is the measurement result from the acoustic sensor we try to see for the normal breath there is a small wave on there 
which indicates the person is still breathing. And then if we try to hold the breath, the result will show like this. It has a smaller amplitude of the wave, so we can say that there is no breath or tracheal sounds detected from the sensor. And then we also try if there is someone snoring and you can see there is some more rapid wave from the acoustic sensor because it will result a bigger sounds when someone is snoring or indicating sleep apnea in several in a certain level. Try to measure the oxygen level and heart rate. As you can see the red one is the oxygen level and the blue one is the red heart rate. And the oxygen level is relatively stable for the someone who is normally breathing. And we can compare to the next one when someone is holding his his, his breath. When someone is holding his breath, we can see that the oxygen level is getting lower because there is no air passing by the neck. And also the heart rate is relatively insane, but uh, the most obvious one is the oxygen level is decreasing. And then the last one, we try to compare the heart rate and oxygen level when someone is snoring. The oxygen level is having a similar level when someone is holding the breath, but for the heart rate, it's slowly incrementing and showing that there is a heaviness when someone is snoring. When the snoring level is getting higher, it can result to the stopped breath and it indicates the sleep apnea. That's our testing results from each sensors, and we really hope that if we try to integrate all of this, it can also be connected with a Wi-Fi module so people can access their results on their smartphone. And well, this design will make people be able to use it at home for a more comfortable feel during the detection process. And our experiment is on the integrated sensors proves that this device can detect the difference between snoring and non-snoring sleep. So further development can be used to make sure that this device can provide an affordable way to test the obstructive sleep apnea problem.